Both Mac and iOS have a built-in secure password manager that can work with iCloud to create, save, and autofill passwords when logging in to websites and apps on all your devices. In Passwords and Keychain settings, as long as this is activated, my saved passwords and credit cards can be autofilled. I'll only need my fingerprint for Touch ID here on the Mac, and I'll use Face ID on the iPhone. First, let's just see how this works with a password that's already been saved. I'll click Sign In here on Printique.com, and right away I can autofill the details saved for this account. To log in, I'll need to use Touch ID or enter my user account password for this Mac. I'll press the Touch ID button and my email address and password are entered and I can log in. Let's sign into that same site over on the iPhone. Tap here in the email field and above the keyboard is the saved login for this site. Tap that and a quick face ID scan will occur and I can log in. Now let's go to a site where I have not yet signed up for an account. Here on usatoday.com, I'll enter my basic info, and then when I tap the password field, a strong password is auto-generated. Tap other options, and I could enter my own password, which is not generally recommended for good security, or we're able to edit or adjust the auto-generated password. I'll stick with the easy to type option. Ideally, I'll never have to actually type it. Accept, and the login information for this site is saved in iCloud. On the Mac, I'm able to log in to USA.com using that saved email and password. Click the Details button here in Settings and we're jumped into the password section of System Settings on the Mac. From here, we can view and even edit all our saved passwords. We can see both the Printique and the new USA Today login information. It's also possible with iCloud to share a certain group of passwords with others. I already have a group called Family that has two passwords added to it. Both members of this group will have access to these passwords and be able to log in to these accounts. Notice that we can add members to this shared group, or we could create another separate shared group with its own set of members and passwords. If passwords and keychain is deactivated on a certain device, it will be possible to keep the passwords on that device but they will no longer sync going forward, and those in our shared password groups will no longer have access to the shared logins. Even if you only own one Apple device, this can be a good idea to have turned on because it essentially creates a backup of all your passwords on iCloud.